The Salesforce Platform App Builder certification is ideal for Salesforce professionals that want to demonstrate their knowledge of building custom applications on the Salesforce platform using clicks, not code. Candidates will also demonstrate a strong understanding of deployment and when a programmatic solution is more appropriate. Hi, I'm Christine Marshall, Salesforce Evangelist at Salesforce Ben. Our mission is to help you advance your Salesforce career. So whether you're just starting out or have a few years under your belt, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. Without further delay, let's take a look at what you need to know to pass the Salesforce Platform App Builder exam. First things first, the basics of the exam. Don't forget to check out the official exam guide on Trailhead. You can expect 60 multiple choice, multiple select questions. You get 105 minutes to complete the exam. The passing score is 60 it costs $200 to take the exam and retakes cost a further $100. You can take it online or at a testing center and there are no prerequisites to taking this exam. I would recommend that any Salesforce professional takes this certification. No matter if you're an admin, consultant or developer, the skills you'll pick up while revising for this exam will become invaluable to anyone working on the Salesforce platform. One of the most powerful aspects about Salesforce is the ability to create custom applications and processes in rapid time. And this exam covers it all. If you're considering a Salesforce architect role in future, then it's worth noting that the platform app builder is a pre requisite on the architect pyramid. The exam is split into five topics. Salesforce fundamentals at 23%, data modeling and management at 22%, business logic and process automation at 28%, user interface at 17%, and app deployment at 10%. Let's take a look in more depth at what you can expect in each topic. You may be familiar with many of the concepts in this section as they are also covered in the admin exam. Refresh your memory on object, record and field access, sharing solutions, reports, dashboards and chatter. You want to increase your knowledge of the mobile experience and using global or object specific actions and layout. You'll be expected to know when you've reached the boundaries of declarative customization and when programmatic changes are more appropriate. This also includes understanding when to enhance and extend your org using the app exchange. This section is all about the Salesforce data model. This includes standard and custom objects, fields, and relationships. Understanding the differences between a lookup and a master detail relationship, as well as when to use a many-to-many -many relationship is key. The schema builder is a great way to not only visualize your data model, but also to extend it. And this exam expects you to understand the capabilities and considerations of this tool. You should have a thorough understanding of field types and when to use them. You will almost definitely be asked a question based on changing field types and the data loss that could incur or not. So memorize and test these combinations out for a guaranteed mark. Lastly, you should brush up on importing and exporting data. The tools of available, considerations, and working with external data sources. This chunky section takes up over a quarter of the entire exam, so you better get familiar with all of the concepts. In fact, this section will test your knowledge of formula fields, roll-up summary fields, validation rules, approval processes, and automation. The exam mostly contains scenario-based questions, and therefore, given a certain scenario, you will be expected to put forward the most appropriate solution. All of the features mentioned above are core to the platform, so you need to learn these inside and out. As well as diving into the technical point and click aspect of the Salesforce platform, you should also understand the features available to give your users a nice experience. With most Salesforce users now on Lightning, this opens up huge possibilities to create slick user interfaces. You'll be expected to understand how Lightning components can be used and where they can be placed, as well as the difference between standard, custom, and app exchange components. You will also be tested on how custom buttons, links, and actions can play a part in making users' lives easier. Although the smallest section in the exam, this topic might be quite a challenge to those newer to Salesforce administration or that work on a smaller org. This section expects you to understand how to test and deploy changes from a sandbox. 
You should have a good understanding of change sets, when you can use them, and when they are not appropriate. You should also understand the use cases and differences between a managed package and an unmanaged package. Hopefully this video has given you an insight on what you need to do to prepare to ace the Salesforce platform app builder exam. Check out our full study guide and tips, which contains additional useful resources. You'll find the link in the video description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben.